Hey plant gang, a great plant for a woodland garden is the bleeding heart. This is Leporocampsis <laughs> spectabili and uh, used to be called Dicentra. The genus used to be Dicentra, but it's moved out of there. Uh, this is a delicate woodland plant that emerges from the ground in the spring and it's called bleeding heart, of course, because uh, the flowers look like uh, hearts that are bleeding in some way. Uh, it is beautiful woodland uh, perennial, but it is really kind of ephemeral. It'll die back down to the ground later after it blooms, and it'll mostly be gone. The foliage will remain for a while, but after the bloom, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna eventually go back in high summer down into the ground. Uh, but a wonderful plant, old fashioned, people love it. Uh, one that you need to know if you're gonna, if you wanna know plants, Bleeding Heart should be one you know. So Lamparocampnos spectabilis, the bleeding heart. This is a herbaceous perennial. It's native to Siberia, native to Siberia, Japan, northern China, and even Korea. Hardy from zones three through nine. So this really is a staple of the perennial garden throughout the United States. Gets just two to three foot tall, spreading out one to two and a half to maybe even three foot wide at times. The bloom time. Uh, can be late March, early April for us, uh, but in co cooler parts of the uh, U.S. you might see this bloom as late as May. Uh, the blooms uh, are white or pink. Uh, there are some cultivars that have a little bit more of a red shade to them, but really white and pink is, is where it is. Uh, medium moisture, again like part shade to even full shade. Uh, really showy, um, can even be used in some cases uh, with as a cut flower if you grab those uh, stems and get them in water really quickly. Tolerant of rabbits, heavy shade, uh, not one that's nibbled on too much. Easy to grow, average, medium, uh, well-drained soil in those shady conditions. So the common name of, name of this plant uh, is in reference to the protru protruding white inner petals on each heart-shaped flower. Uh, really, this plant has no serious disease or insect problems. Uh, some of them can be affected with aphids sometimes, uh, but good soil drainage is essential really for plant survival. Or in, or in the summertime, if you've got wet, mucky soil, uh, you might rot this plant, and so you definitely don't want to do that. So for me, one of the most outstanding cultivars of bleeding heart is this one, which is called gold heart. And you can see the chartreuse, uh, almost yellow foliage, uh, kind of in contrast with those pink blooms. I think it really is one of the more spectacular cultivars available, and we wanted to show you this one. Uh, it does need a little bit of sun uh, to really reach its peak potential uh, with its gold coloration. And so morning sun, afternoon shade really is ideal for this plant. If it's in, a, it's in deep shade, it's gonna be a little bit more green. Uh, so a great cultivar, uh, one that you definitely should know. Here's a landscape tip. Because this plant goes dormant, plant it in the woodland border in areas where other plants will fill in once it goes dormant. 